freak out, okay? Isn't that my decision? I just thought you could use something to help cheer you up after yesterday's drama. It is beautiful. This is from Brad. He was too shy to give it to you himself. Colin. That was mean. She knew I was kidding. Mean to me. Guess I'm about as concerned for your feelings as you were for mine. You said you forgave me. Doesn't mean I'm just gonna forget what happened. Okay, here's a rundown of tomorrow's show. You can do that one alone. I guess something needs my special expertise. How to save a marriage. I get that you're not exactly thrilled to do a segment on marriage, but I'm not sure this is something that I should do solo. Everything there is to know about everything. You told me so. Maybe we could do it together. It could, you know, maybe it could be a chance for you to uh, talk, get your feelings out. Oh, come on. I am not going to talk about saving a marriage. It would be hypocritical. Hypocritical? Because I don't think they should be saved. In fact, I think we should just get rid of the institution altogether. You believe in marriage? Don't tell me what I you're just mad at it. Like, you get mad at me sometimes. Sometimes? But you always get over being mad at me, just like you get over being mad at men in general. I'm not mad at men in general. I have no problem with the Dalai Lama. Snyder men, that's a different story. I don't even know why I bother talking to you, and I wish I didn't have to work with you, but I do, so here's the deal. Tomorrow, you're going to do that segment alone, and you're going to try to stay as far away from me as you possibly can, and if you ever, ever show up again with one single perfect rose, you know where you can put it. Miss Freddy, these are for you. Flowers. Thank you. Thank you. Just what I wanted. Because flowers fix everything, right? Right? Flowers fix everything. Give a girl flowers and she just has instant amnesia. Have a nice day. You are in big trouble. Not me. No. No. Why did you do it? Well, uh, do what? The flowers. After everything you've done, after everything I've said to you, did you really think some stupid bouquet and a card with a smiley face on whoa, it was whoa, gonna whoa, make whoa, everything whoa, all better? Whoa, whoa, hey, I don't do smiley faces. I'm not kidding, Jack. It has to be over, and cards and flowers, they just hurt oh, too much. I didn't send flowers! I was gonna send flowers, but Margot said it was a bad idea because she thought it might make you mad. Well, if you didn't send them, then who did? Okay, so you didn't send the flowers. Sorry for the false accusation. Hey, Katie. If you're this upset about it, it might mean... I'm not protesting too much. Ah. Could be. This is the way we have to play it, Jack. It's over. I just... I can't hurt this much ever again. Hey, Katie. Oh, told you. I didn't send the stupid flowers. I'm gonna find out who did. Okay. Another lovely afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Your boyfriend? Dream on. <laughs> He's one of the instructors over there where I take dance lessons. He insists on walking me over here when I come to visit my friends and play bridge with them. Oh, that's very sweet. And proves my point. Which is what? That you don't have to be married to have a full life. But I had a full life simply because I was married for so many, many years. And Chris and I had a wonderful family together, and that was the most precious thing he ever gave me. I just wouldn't want to see you lose all of that simply because things hadn't worked out. But Jack... I know, I just... I can't see myself getting close enough with anyone for that to happen. You young people, you give up so easily. No one's ever accused me of that. It didn't used to be true. Excuse me, I'm sorry. What now? Where are you? And that's your business because... Because because I need to talk to you. Come on, Pretty. we still work together. We have to talk. I'll be in my room in about five minutes. 
Good. Okay, stay there. I'll be right over. Is something wrong? No, no, just more of the same. Flowers. How lame is that? Okay, your five minutes. It better be about work. Of course it's about work. Except that it's not. That's it. That's the house. That's the house Jack and I were going to buy. Why do you have a picture of our... that house? I just bought it. Why would you buy a house? Not a house. Your house. Okay, bought it because you love it, and you should have it. That's probably the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Probably. <laughs> but I can't accept it. Bet you Brad's not doing nothing. Yeah, Brad is really getting on my nerves. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm... Jack. Going solo. Strong women making strong choices for a strong future. Oh, there is only one thing, one thing that could cheer me up today, and that is finding out that you are in need of self-help books. It's not for me. <laughs> All right. It's for kids. Oh, that's even better. Oh, is there anything in there that says uh, aiding and abetting is not a strong choice? Why can't you accept that she's trying to turn her life around? I don't think that's funny. No, I don't think it's funny that she's living in your house. No, but JJ must be getting a big kick out of it. You know something? You know what, never mind. I'm not going to defend myself to you. It's a waste of my time. Finally, something we agree on. Oh, Jack, I, I didn't really want Kit living with me. I was just looking for a way so you could feel even more superior. I don't know. So you sold the house without even asking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks for absolutely nothing! Whoa, man, I'm really sorry, Jack. Maybe this is proof that you just gotta let hey, go. Hey, listen, if Katie wants space, she'll get space. If she wants time, she'll get all the time in the world. But I am not giving up on her. <sighs> Woo, it's gonna be fun around here. Listen. Freddy, Some, somebody buys you a house, you take it. It doesn't happen that often. You didn't buy me the house. Yes, I did. No. And the garage. You are trading with. the house for, you know. I'm not asking anything from you. I just, I want you to be happy about something instead of being sad about everything. Okay, it, it didn't work out between you and Jack. But that doesn't mean you have to give up the house and the rabbits, the kids. The house comes with a garage, Brad. It doesn't come with kids. It's true. Okay, but this is where this is a this is a two part gift. I buy the house, you buy the rabbits. And the kids. Kids. We make. 